Hey everybody, it's Lori with Giggle Girl Art. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for my subscribers. And if you like crafty videos, you may want to subscribe to my channel. I just wanted to do not really a haul vi video, but a little share. Um, I've been having some problems with my wrist, so I haven't really been creating as much. I did finish a few things, but, um, and I wanted to sh give a quick shout out to Julia Elliott on my last video that came out about four weeks ago. Um, she left a comment and it was very helpful, constructive criticism. So moving on from that, um, I signed up to be a patron on Patreon for Jessica at Paper Terrace, and I got my fun little welcome gift, and this is not the monthly mailing, it's just a nice little welcome gift that she sent me, and I wanted to share, I did open it, and I'm glad I did, because there is something in here that had been met for somebody else, but for some reason she didn't send it to them, um, and if you are not familiar with Jessica and um, Paper Tears, I'll leave a link down below. So every month she gives a little um, newsletter. And then she has this little card and it looks like maybe she was going to send it to someone else. But then she went ahead and sent it to me. So, it's really cute. It has this little saying in it. You are far too smart to be the one thing standing in your way. And a little po uh, library pocket with a library card. That's so cute. And look, it's self-adhesive. So, I totally just signed up <laughs> for the happy mail. Um, that she sends out. So then she sent a couple little pieces of ephemera that are really cute. Um, a little vellum pocket with some journaling items in it. Some little stickers. Those are really cute. So that is what I got from Jessica. Then I went to Half Price Books and I've been working on cat and dog journals. And I have this dog encyclopedia that I've shown in some of my other videos. But I didn't really... I've run out of a bunch of my cat stuff because I've been... Actually, like, did a bunch of scrapbooking a while back and used up most of my cat stuff. And then I think I gave away the extra. <clears throat> but I got this book about cats. So I'll be making some junk journals... Um, focused on cats and some more cats and dogs and then this I went over to the clearance section and I found this huge book for only four dollars on Venice and I just thought this will have some really neat um, uh, photos in it so I thought that would be great to use in some junk journals. I'm really excited about this. I haven't even really looked through the book yet. <laughs> Since it's so big and thick, I just, you know, I've been using it to flatten stuff. <laughs> so there is that. And I've also set my laptop top on top of it. And then I went to um, one of my local antique markets. And I found some really cool old antique cards. And I found this beautiful little scarf or hanky. I'm not sure. It's definitely vintage if it's not antique. So I'm excited about that with doing some Christmas journaling coming up soon. Then this is a postcard 
And I don't, it's in this bag, staples, but it's dated 1910. And I don't really want to take the staples out until I'm ready to use it, but it's got embossing. I don't know if you can see that that's raised. Um, and it's a happy birthday. Then I've got a happy new year. Another little postcard. Looks like this one. 1911 maybe. And then this. And, um, I am probably, and this one's, um, Christmas. And I'm probably going to do some, uh, Scanning, you know, the ones I know for sure are no longer under copyright. Then I found these really cute little cards. There's this one. Really got some beautiful um, artwork on it. This is Christmas in Czechoslovakia. And let's see if there's a date. This says a sunshine card made in the USA. So, and I got these from different little shops. This one says Christmas in Germany. I hope you can see that. And then there is this one, and I thought this would be neat. It's got this little, I'm not sure what that is some kind of fibrous materials and this one was not dated so and it doesn't even have a who, who the card manufacturer was but I thought that one was really cute then I found some napkins that I thought would be really awesome for junk journaling. There's like these little drink coasters and it looks like they've got maybe some wax paper on the back. And a few layers. So I thought these, it's got a little holly uh, pattern. And there's this one. There is a patriotic Christmas package. Or, really, I guess they don't even have to be Christmas. They could just be winter. I thought those were really cute. And th these, all of these napkins came in a package. Um, there's these. There's this one, and it is it's got the design on all four. It's two ply, so that's really cute. Then there's several of these, which um, looks like maybe some mistletoe and holly. Is really cute. It's got several of those. This one actually looks like it might have been used. <laughs> oh. Then this one. Yeah. So I'll be cutting out the used parts. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I bet this cute little snowman. And that's all man. I thought it was still cute. And I did look through the package before I bought it. Not real well. My back was starting to hurt, so I had to leave. But that is my share for today. Um, make sure you leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed, check out one of my other videos. If you like doing arts and crafts, um, you might find something in there fun to do. And... I will see you next time. I do have a couple things I finished recently. 
Uh, and I've also been editing some older videos, but it's still even, since this is my dominant hand, it's been kind of hard to even do stuff on the internet on my computer, so editing videos hasn't been real great either. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.